Faust is a tragic play in two parts by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. It's a play with the most significant audience numbers on German language stages. Faust is considered by many to be Goethe's magnum opus and the greatest work of German literature. I found the story of Faust and his character to be very relevant in our time. We will see all around us people who either have sold or will sell their souls to the devil, the allure of power, control, or even perhaps a chance at immortality are potent motivations to these people. There is no sacrifice too great for a chance at immortality. Mephistopheles is the demon associated with the Faust legend. He was especially prominent in the versions by Marlowe and Goethe. Mephistopheles is also featured as the lead antagonist in Goethe's Faust. You could consider him as the devil. The narrative of Faust begins in heaven, while angels worship the Lord for his creation of humans, the demon Mephistopheles makes a bet with God. He says that he can lure God's favorite human being, Faust, who is striving to learn everything that can be known away from righteous pursuit. The Lord agrees, claiming that Faust will remain a loyal follower. Faust has been a scholar and an alchemist and he feels as though he has come to the end of all knowledge. Books and chemistry can no longer define his life for him, and he longs to live a life in harmony with nature and the universe. Despairing at the vanity of scientific, humanistic, and religious learning turns to magic for the showering of infinite knowledge. He summons a spirit to come and be with him, but this only reinforces that he is human and not a spirit and therefore cannot share the spirit's higher knowledge. He suspects, however, that his attempts are failing. Frustrated, he ponders suicide but rejects it as he hears the echo of nearby Easter celebration begin. Faust walks outside his town with Wagner, a fellow scholar. Faust describes his passion for nature and a higher plane of life, but Wagner cannot fathom it. The townspeople celebrate Easter, and although Faust feels that he should be with them, he cannot shake his despair at his current situation. The townspeople crowd around Faust, cheering him because he and his father helped the people with medicine during a plague as a young man. Faust, however, feels that he probably did more harm than good with his crude treatments. As Wagner and Faust return home to their studies, they meet a black dog on the road that follows Faust back to his house. In, the, in his study, Faust attempts to find new inspiration by reading the Gospel of John. He begins his own translation of work, but the barking dog interrupts him. In Faust's study, the poodle transforms into Mephistopheles. Faust and Mephistopheles begin a conversation about Faust's work and despair at his current situation in life. To show Faust a taste of his power, Mephistopheles summons a group of spirits that take Faust on a hallucinatory journey while Faust falls asleep. Mephistopheles leaves the study with a promise to return and show Faust more. When Faust awakens, Mephistopheles returns, this time with a wager. Faust makes an arrangement with him. Mephistopheles will do everything that Faust wants while he is here on earth, and in exchange, Faust will serve the devil in hell. Faust's arrangement is that if he is pleased enough with anything Mephistopheles gives him, that he wants to stay in that moment forever, then he will die in that moment. Faust takes the wager, believing that the devil can never give him 
such a moment. When Mephistopheles tells Faust to sign the pact with blood, Faust complains that Mephistopheles does not trust Faust's word of honor. In the end, Mephistopheles wins the argument and Faust signs the contract with a drop of his own blood. Faust has a few excursion and then meets Margaret, or uh, also known as Gretchen. He's attracted to her and with jewelry and with help from neighbor Martha, Mephistopheles draws Gretchen into Faust's arm. With Mephistopheles' aid, Faust seduces Gretchen. Gretchen's mother dies from a sleeping potion administered by Gretchen to obtain privacy so that Faust could visit her. Gretchen discovers she's pregnant. Gretchen's brother condemns Faust, challenges him, and falls dead at the hands of Faust and Mephistopheles. Gretchen drowns her illegitimate child and is convicted of the murder. Faust tries to save Gretchen from the death by attempting to free her from prison. Finding that she refuses to escape, Faust and Mephistopheles flee the dungeon, while voices from heaven announce that Gretchen shall be saved. In part two, this romantic story of first Faust is put aside. The Faust wakes in a field of fairies to initiate a new cycle of adventures and purpose. The piece consists of five acts, each representing a different theme. Ultimately, Faust goes to heaven, for he loses only half of the bet. Angels who arrive as messengers of divine mercy declare at the end of Act 5, he who strives on and lives to strive can earn redemption still. This is Faust according to Goethe. In Marlowe's Faust, Faust sells his soul to the devil for riches and eternal youth. The play ends with Faust's soul being taken away and condemned to hell. In Goethe's version, the true tragedy does not exist in one's soul being taken, but the depressing condition of man that Faust exemplifies. Even the devil himself recognizes the despair which exists in his being. Man moves me to compassion, so wretched is his plight. I have no wish to cause him further woe. The principal lesson that exists in uh, Faust is that humanity is not in a position to obtain perfection, but the most one can ask for is to possess control of their life and being in charge of their destiny. To do so is to free oneself from a state of powerlessness by acknowledging the personal power that is harnessed through taking responsibility for one's individual state of mind on a daily basis. Faustian bargain is a pact whereby a person trades something of supreme uh, moral or spiritual importance such as personal values or soul for some worldly or material benefit such as knowledge, power or wealth. This term uh, comes from the legend of Faust. A Faustian bargain is usually made with the power that the bargainer recognizes as evil or immoral. Faustian bargains are by their nature tragic or self-defeating for the person who makes them because what's surrendered is ultimately far more valuable than what is obtained, whether or not the bargainer appreciates the fact. Every time I hear the name of Dr. Fauci, I can't help but to think of the story of Faust. The trouble for me is, is our Dr. Fauci the Faust of the story or is he Mephistopheles? I'm not sure.